I'm getting a message that now it is streaming live on YouTube. Okay. Wait a minute. Uh, I think done, done. Can somebody done? check, sir? Ah, I think. It's okay. Somebody is raising a hand. Yes, yeah, it is live on YouTube now. Okay, okay. okay. Uh, so just one second. Yeah, okay, sir. Right. Yeah, on behalf of uh, South Asian uh, Meteorological Association and uh, Berlin Staff Technology, so I welcome everyone for today's lecture. That is lecture number 18. Um, the lecture series on satellite meteorology. So I request Professor Someshwar Das, Secretary, uh, South Asian Meteorological Association, uh, to welcome the gathering. Over to you, sir. Thank you very much, uh, Dr. Lakshmi Kumar. Uh, President of SAMA, uh, ABM Professor Ajit Tagi Saab, the Chairman of the Advisory Panel of the Lecture Series, Dr. Bhatia Saab. Our distinguished speaker today is C. Jayasri from NRSC. She will be introduced in detail shortly. Uh, other members of the organizing committee, uh, Dr. Rohini, Dr. Mohan Kumar, Dr. Akshay Kumar, and I can also see Dr. Taplia, who is a member of the advisory panel from the Space Applications Center. Uh, all the distinguished participants, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we welcome you uh, once again on behalf of the South Asian Meteorological Association and the Birla Institute of Technology, Rachi. As you know, this is the 18th lecture today. Uh, two more lectures are left after this, and I hope that all of you are participating regularly because we certainly we shall be counting the attendance. Uh, today's uh, speaker is Jashri and because he is new to the uh, summer and this lecture series, so I would just like to repeat a few points which uh, we have said earlier, like uh, we have got more than 1800 registrations uh, this time for the satellite meteorology uh, lecture series from more than uh, about 60 countries. Uh, all the lectures are also live streamed uh, and available on the YouTube channel of SAMA. Uh, people can ask questions uh, after the lecture. They can write the questions on the question and answer box. Uh, and uh, one of uh, our moderators, uh, one or two of the moderators, they will read the question and it will be answered by the speaker. So at the end of the lecture series, as you know, uh, we count the attendance, uh, of course, it is counted regularly. And those who have attended the lecture more than 75%, uh, they are given a special certificate of uh, participation. Of course, participation certificate is given to all, but they are given extra certificate uh, of uh, attending lectures more than having more than 75% attendance. And then also we conduct a test, uh, as you know, at the end of the lecture series. And those who participate in the test and the score uh, more than 85%, they are given grades like outstanding grade and then excellent and then very good, good, etc. So please uh, attend all lectures uh, carefully and enjoy it. Uh, wish you all the best. On to you, Dr. Uh, Lakshmi Kumar. Thank you, sir. Uh, now I request uh, Professor Tyagi, sir, President Sama, to deliver his address. Thank you, Lakshmi. And I join uh, Dr. Someshwar Das in welcoming uh, all distinguished participants along with uh, the distinguished speaker, uh, Jayashri from NRSC. We also have with us uh, Bhatia Sahab, chairman of the advisory panel and also Dr. Thapliyar from Space Application Center. Uh, so thank you both of you. Uh, your presence makes uh, all of us very, very comfortable and your guidance is, is so valuable. Also, uh, organizing committee members, Lakshmi, Mohan, uh, Roini, uh, so all of you have been supporting these series of activities. 
This is the first lecture in 2024, the 18th in the series of Sama lecture series on satellite mat. And we had, uh, I think, well chalked out plan right from the basics to the advanced, through the applications and participation of all institutions who are associated in satellite meteorology, both uh, the research, application, uh, products, and we are happy today to have from NRSC. Bhuvan is a very powerful platform, and uh, I'm sure the talk by Jesh is going to benefit all the participants who want to use it in the real time and also for application in their academic and research activities. So once again, thank you, Jesh, with us. Thank you, sir. And we look forward to your association even after this lecture uh, please share your knowledge expertise and and with with larger number of audience most of them are students and young researchers to benefit from the work which you are doing it sure sir enjoy enjoy this uh, participants please ask questions and even after the lecture if you have any any doubts to be cleared or follow up I request Jashim uh, to respond to them also. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, Tai sir, for delivering this address. Uh, before going to today's lecture, I request uh, Dr. Rohini Bhavar, ECT member, Pune uh, University of Pune, to introduce today's speaker, uh, Sri Jayashree. Rohini, over to you. Yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Lakshmi. So, I am very happy to uh, introduce Mrs. C. Jayashree. She is scientist, engineer SS in Web Services Division, Earth and Climate Sciences area, NRSC ISRO indoors. She joined National Remote Sensing, that is NRSC ISRO, in July 1994 and worked for 28 years at Satellite Ground Station in Satellite Data Acquisition area, supporting 24 7 critical round the clock real-time data acquisitions and processing of all remote sensing satellites such as CartoSat, ResourceSat, OceanSat, RadarSat satellite series, also non-Indian non remote sensing satellites at Sharnagar, Hyderabad. She had contributed immensely at satellite ground station by serving in various capacities, such few are mentioned here, such as operations director, ground station for EOS-04, insat one a deputy operations director for HISIS mission, Deputy Operations Director for Radarsat, this has a Resat 2B series of satellites, Manager of Global Data Pre-Processing Facility, working out satellite project prerequisites, ensuring ground station readiness before satellite launch, conducting test and evaluations of mission-specific deliverable software packages and ensuring compliance with mission requirements in all modes specified by mission, supporting pre-launch, launch, and post-launch phases of satellite, addressing all issues and ensuring seamless processing and generation of satellite products within defined turnaround time. Currently, she is transferred to Earth and Climate Sciences area since August 2022, now working in Web Service Division, contributing in development of independent web portal for National Information System for Climate and Environment Studies, NICES, which was released recently by Chairman Isro on 26 October 2022. Also involved in conduct of NICES workshops and de delivering lectures, monthly NICES, newsletter content generation and circulation expanding the outreach and NICES climate services project. She is also a trained ISO leader auditor. So we really have a nice speaker today. So over to you, Dr. Lakshmi. Thank you, Dr. Rohini. Rohini, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. Ma'am, can you share your presentation? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, Dr. Rohini, for the nice introduction. I'll share my screen right now. Uh, 
uh, are you able to see my presentation yes yes, ah, yes madam yes yes we can see okay yes, can i start yeah yeah yes, okay uh, a very good afternoon to all and let me at the outset wish all of you a very happy new year as i was told this is the first presentation of 2024 and uh, i welcome all the participants to this weekly online uh, lecture series and i would also like to express and extend my thanks to sama that is a uh, uh, south asian metallurgical association and the bits uh, birla institute of technology mystery sorry mestra india for uh, giving me this opportunity so uh, as told i shall be covering in my session about the geo portals of nrsc isro uh, which offers various products and services uh, to the user community uh, so basically the three geo portals i'll be talking about are uh, bhuvan uh, nicees as well as bhunidhi so before going on to the geo platforms i would like to give a brief introduction about nrsc because to the participants i think it would be better to understand about the geo portals once you know about what nrsc is doing so the national remote sensing center is an important organization in india that specializes in remote sensing satellite data acquisition and processing which is located in hyderabad telangana and operates under the indian space research organization the primary mandate of nrsc is to provide satellite data and remote sensing services to the various users including the government agencies the scientific institutions the public it serves as a hub for remote sensing activities contributing significantly to the country's space and earth observation capabilities which include uh, diverse fields like the agriculture environment urban planning water resource management disaster management support and so on so india as nrsc has a huge and rich repository of geospatial data from various indian remote sensing satellite data that is acquired at our ground station shahnagar as well as the non irs missions since 1988 that is more than 35 years we have a rich repository of data so to disseminate this data in the form of products and services three main geo portals were built namely the bhuvan bhunidhi and nicees nicees is basically a climate data portal i shall be telling explaining about it in detail in my subsequent slides to start with let's get on get on into bhuvan geos portal bhuvan is actually a state of the art geospatial portal which is developed by nrsc in 2009 it offers detailed satellite imagery of india at different scales and helps in various applications like agriculture disaster management urban planning resource natural resource assessment and so on so as you can see initially bhuvan actually started off as a visualization platform it was just as a visualization visualization tool it started off but it has evolved over the years and it has grown grown into a powerful platform with numerous applications across various sectors so bhuvan offers various satellite products of missions like the remote uh, resource sat2 series the high seas the ocean sat2 it offers derived and thematic products and also various geospatial services as well which are ogc compliant so as you can see to from visualization platform it has actually uh, developed evolved over the years into a strong platform of offering various services supporting the different states of india for accomplishing the various projects which are taken up for monitoring of the projects for uh, seeing to it that uh, uh, the sustainable uh, growth of the project is happening so all this all these actions are taken up by bhuvan i will get into the details in my subsequent slides so as you can see the url for bhuvan is bhuvan.nrsc.gov.in so once you click on to the click this url you will land on this bhuvan home page as you can see so this is very user friendly page like where there are there are various uh, uh, links are provided which gives a total uh, means they are very user friendly once you click on the link you will land on the page which tells you like what bhuvan 2d or bhuvan 3d is all about there are so the different features offered by bhuvan are uh, the uh, visualizations in 2d 3d and the bhuvan light open data archives offering a, a range of satellite data products thematic services and there is a climate and environment uh, products uh, that is the nicees products which are also hosted on bhuvan and there is a bhunidhi vista uh, link which takes you to the bhunidhi uh, portal where you have access to the different range of satellite data products uh, and also apart from this it, uh, bhuvan also offers various application uh, applications uh, under agriculture water forestry e governance to name a few 
and uh, coming to the different services offered by bhuvan the bhuvan thematic services it facilitates the users to select browse and query the thematic data sets which you, the users can consume these thematic data sets and integrate these systems into the systems as they are all ogc compliant ogc compliant means it is open geo uh, uh, spatial consortium which is actually it supports the interoperability so it makes the user uh, it, it it adds as a service which is i mean it helps the user to use the different layers without downloading them actually and then integrating it into his system and working on the uh, thematic services which are offered by bhuvan so to name a few the various uh, thematic layers which are offered by bhuvan are the land use land cover at, at various scales like the 50k the 250k the 10k the land degradation maps uh, the watershed maps the wasteland maps the flood hazard maps urban sprawl maps so there is a, a wide range of uh, services being offered by bhuvan so you can get into this url and explore the various uh, services and products being offered by bhuvan so coming to data visualization i am here i can because of the limitation of time i cannot get into the, all the uh, features of bhuvan so i will only be will be showing a sample of the features being offered by bhuvan for your understanding so as you can see the kind of uh, the, uh, um, data uh, which is made available on bhuvan the scale of data that is from the lower scale covering the whole india to the large scale up to the cadastral level the data is available on bhuvan so the cadastral maps they are nothing but the land parcels uh, which are mainly labeled on these maps showing the measurements survey boundaries ownership details so this is a kind of uh, uh, varied scale of data available on bhuvan and these are some of the images uh, depicted uh, to explain the, the kind of resolutions of data which are available as i said we are acquiring more than around 25 satellites per day at our ground station of various swaths and sensors and resolutions so up from uh, less than a meter to up to a kilometer resolution swaths are uh, resolution as well as swath data is available so we have 10 kilometer swath data to around uh, uh, some uh, 14 20 square kilometer uh, swat data so that is a kind of uh, uh, um, varied uh, data which is available with us now coming to the other service that, that is a time lapse if you are doing some change detection and you want to see like what is the kind of change that has happened over the years you, this is an example like this is a mumbai airport where you you are able to see an image of the terminal where terminal 2 right now is not there but by 2014 a new terminal has come up so this is just an example like uh, how the city has grown over the years or how the uh, urban sprawl has grown or how the forest cover has changed all these change detection studies can be done based on this time lapse videos and then uh, next is the hydrological based information which bhuvan is offering from river basins covering lakhs of square kilometers to micro watersheds uh, that is covering few hectares that is less than uh, 5000 hectares of land so that is uh, again a different scale of information what bhuvan is offering for various purposes to the users now again bhuvan also offers the 3d terrain profiles which is generated from the cartosat series of satellites that is the cartosat uh, Uh, one using the pan 4 and pan aft uh, sensors of 2.5 resolution so this uh, digital elevation model is very much useful in providing an elevation reference of the existing topographic conditions it will provide a terrain model to facilitate the drainage network analysis uh, it also helps in watershed demarcation contour generation uh, generation of ortho rectified images and so on so uh, dem really plays a very important role in um, gis similarly we have bhuvan also offers a bhuvan 3d city model so using uh, this uh, feature you can also develop your city uh, for urban planning and for other modeling this can be used uh, coming to data downloads and thematic services uh, bhuvan offers a way uh, a range of different products uh, as i have already discussed from of different swaths and resolutions and the main uh, uh, point what i would like to mention about bhuvan is all the products here are uh, geo referenced geo rectified products so these are all uh, value added products which are ready to use products uh, from of uh, of different sensors of resolutions varying uh, like from 23 meters list 3 to hyperspectral a resolution of 30 meters with a swath of 30 kilometers to cartodem again cartodem is again offered at 30 meters resolution and all this data available is for free 
So as you can see in this, uh, the Cartodem uh, uh, digital elevation model is available for India as well as surrounding countries. So uh, the surrounding countries are also mentioned here. Like it also covers Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan and Bangladesh. Now coming to the thematic services. So Bhuvan offers a varied range of thematic services which the user can use to select, browse and query the data sets from the portal. And the URL for this thematic services is given below. So the users can consume the data sets and integrate into the systems as OGC web services. As I've already told, OGC web services, they support interoperability. So the users uh, uh, for the use ease of operations for the user. So the different kinds of thematic services available are the different land use land cover maps at different scales for the different periods like land use land cover 50k for 2005-6-2011-12, land use land cover 250k, land degradation, geomorphology maps, flood hazard layer and so on. Bhuvan, in addition to all this thematic maps, it also plays an important role in providing a near real-time support whenever a disaster strikes so also uh, it covers uh, major disasters which are covered at bhuvan are the cyclone flood landslides forest fires earthquakes and droughts so it offers different maps like the historical flood maps flood annual layers flood hazard layers daily forest fires landslide inventory and so on so the hyperlink or oh, sorry the url for this particular um uh, page is provided below so you can go there and explore and get to know like what is the kind of data available what are the maps available and how it can support during the disasters coming to bhuvan applications bhuvan offers more than 200 applications covering agriculture urban rural development forest water and uh, it supports the various government agencies in implementation of their projects and monitoring of the projects and also seeing to it uh, by geotagging also, uh, there, uh, there are uh, various, like I will be covering the, some examples of the projects that have been undertaken under Bhuvan, which really have helped the government in uh, monitoring and also in carrying forward the different proposals, which helps them in planning and implementation and the effectiveness of a particular project. So this is very important for any, uh, uh, any government project to sustain. So the projects, the basically the applications are mainly for meant for asset mapping, inventory creation, planning and development, evaluation of the program activities, and the sustainable development of land and water resources. There are various flagship programs also undertaken under Bhuvan, and uh, these are mainly supporting the different governance functions of the various state governments of India. So as I said, few ab uh, applications. One example is Bhuvan Manrega project. So Bhuvan Manrega, it stands for Mahatma Gandhi uh, Regional Employment Generation uh, Activity. So under this, it is a uh, it is a project under which it government ensures that hundred days of wages is ensured for the livelihood of the rural uh, um, uh, rural people. So this has been uh, this um, um, particular program has been continuously mon monitored under Bhuvan. And uh, it is seen to it that the program is implemented successfully and any uh, lacunas are brought out uh, by uh, continuously following up with the uh, monitoring system which is being offered through the geocoding mechanism uh, and geotagging of which is offered under Bhuvan. Again, under Bhu, uh, there is an integrated water management proposal, Bhuvan. Under this monitoring and evaluation of watersheds is taken up. Uh, there are various applications for Ministry on Housing and Urban Affairs. So Bhuvan offers a platform uh, to the various states where states are lacking in generating the application. They share the data with Bhuvan, where Bhuvan generates the application for them. Uh, it can be a tourism application. It can be a housing affairs application or whatever. So uh, there is a team uh, uh, at Bhuvan supporting the various state government agencies in uh, uh, fulfilling their uh, requirements by taking the data from the respective state governments and uh, providing them in the form of a mobile application or a uh, desktop application. Also, there is property tax mapping, which was provided to Telangana by Bhuvan, Aadhaar Seva Kendra, uh, which tells about the kiosks, Aadhaar Seva Kendra, which are available in India. And COVID-19, during COVID-19, there were applications made, which used to uh, give information to the public regarding the uh, beds which are available at a particular hospital, the location, and the vaccination availability. So th like that, there are n number of applications being built by the Bhuvan team for the use of the community. 
so for further i think you can explore the bhuvan uh, website and uh, you can get to know the various uh, information uh, the kind of products the kind of thematic services uh, the kind of maps applications which are offered under bhuvan and you can always write to the bhuvan team in case of any queries and you can also get back to me for queries after our session now coming to bhunidhi portal uh, bhunidhi is the second geo portal actually uh, which i am going to talk about this basically is uh, isro's uh, earth observation data dissemination portal and the url for bhunidhi is uh, bhunidhi.nrsc.gov.in so once you click that you get on to this home page as you can see towards the right that is the bhunidhi home page which offers different features like there is a bhunidhi vista uh, there is a bhunidhi open data archive and then there is a bhunidhi api there is a bhunidhi upagrah i will explain to you what each is in my subsequent slides so what bhunidhi is it actually hosts a repository of indian remote sensing satellites as well as non irs satellite data catalog since 1988 so that means more than 35 years of data is available with bhunidhi and it also enables access to extensive archive of these remote sensing satellite from all these 40 satellites uh, uh, acquired over more than 35 years but to download any data say bhuvan or bhunidhi the user has to be a registered user that means you will have to fulfill certain login formalities before trying to download the data and that is very uh, user friendly uh, through a user friendly mechanism there is a built in mechanism through which you can get registered with bhunidhi or bhuvan and get the required data uh, bhunidhi also offers distribution of sentinel and landsat 89 data and whatever fresh acquisitions happen at shardnagar they are added on a daily basis covering india and surroundings uh, open commercial access service is also provided so uh, we shall be discussing about what is the kind of data which is available freely to all in the coming slide so this is the indian space policy uh, regarding the data dissemination which has come in place in 2023 it says that data products coarser than 5 meter spatial resolution as is where its condition is free and open for all that means the data up to 5 meter spatial resolution is freely available to any user across the world so what are the kind of satellite sensors which is offering this data they are the resosat series we have resosat 1 2 resosat 2a ocean sat series that is ocean sat 1 2 scatsat oscat saral irs 1a to irs 1d these are all old satellites as you understand i think you must be remembering irs 1a was the first satellite which was launched indian remote sensing satellite in 1988 then risat 1 this is a uh, microwave satellite uh, it is a sar based sensor landsat 8 suomi npp jpss 1 sentinel 1 2 so the this list goes on eos 4 eos 6 and nisar nisar is the upcoming mission and the delivery for this is 1 to 10 minutes uh, for the data available in online so in online archive any data since acquisition for 3 months it is available and beyond that it goes into the storage so you will have to fetch it from the 3 times storage will take a little bit of time so you, the data will be made available in 3 to 24 hours next is the data products up to 5 to 0.5 meter spatial resolution uh, as per the policy it is available for uh, free for government entities of india whereas it is priced for the pro uh, private parties so what are the kind of satellites under this all the cartosat series satellite uh, which have high resolution sensors like the cartosat 1 2 cartosat 2s cartosat 3 they come under the uh, priced category uh, for the private parties um, and the delivery is within 24 hours and data for sub meter resolution like as you know cartosat 3 has two sensors pan and mx and the resolutions of the like uh, 0.28 meters of pan and uh, uh, mx it is 1.12 meter so that is like very very high resolution uh, uh, data so for to, if you want if you uh, if a user is interested in such products then uh, they fall under the priced category it is free for certain government entities of india with authorization but otherwise it is priced now coming to the bhunidhi features as you can see these are the different features offered by bhunidhi uh, you can what is the bhunidhi browse feature where you can browse order uh, by first you can go get a search the required data i will uh, be telling like how you can search in my subsequent slides in in the bhunidhi website and then uh, how you can go and download the data uh, vista is about the visualization uh at full resolution uh what are the kind of visualizations possible in uh, bhunidhi i will be demonstrating with few examples upagraha is the orbit viewer which tells about the uh, position of a satellite live position of a satellite at a given instant uh, 
and the planner is a new feature which is introduced of late uh, it is mainly for planning the imaging area of interest for future dates now this is a kind of data diversity at bhunidhi so as you can see uh, spatial resolution from 0.28 meter to 1000 meter data is available ranging swaths from 10 km to 1400 so uh, as you see to my right side uh, you see like there are uh, um, there are uh, there is irs data available as well as non irs like the landsat the compsat the novasat the sentinel data which is made available free uh, because they fall in that more than 5 meters resolution category so this data is readily available any user can just log into our bhunidhi and get registered and then download the data and there are thematic products also which are offered by bhunidhi uh, like some chlorophyll products eos6 related products which has come up off late recently so there is again a, a wide range of uh, uh, um, variation in the resolutions being offered like you can see uh, coarse resolution more than 100 meters to very high resolution less than 1 meter is available and also data which belong to microwave as well as optical data the two categories are available coming to the satellite data which is offered under bhunidhi if you see the list the ones which are uh, actually uh, listed out in red color they are actually uh, price data because the resolutions are high uh, uh, whereas the ones in black what whichever is represented they are op they fall in the open data category and uh, if you can see like you can make out that eos4 and rs1 are in blue color that are they are partially priced because like if you see eos4 has different modes of acquisitions you have the um, mrs crs frs uh, resolutions i mean um, mode of uh, acquisition that is fine uh, resolution is there moderate resolution is there coarse resolution so coming whenever you are the acquisitions is in frs mode the uh, data product becomes priced because the resolution is less than 5 meters similarly for rs1 now this uh, data archive tells you like how the globe uh, the, um, the the kind of coverage that has happened like us4 mrs is rs1 satellite which uh, for which uh, the whole almost the global coverage is completed uh, and our resosat2 data is also available global for the total uh, world a sentinel 2a 1a novasar is available for total india landsat9 is also for india and uh, avfs list less for again for total world now this is actually the um, um, page like on bhunidhi where which really uh, um, navigates and uh, through which you can uh, go uh, uh, navigate and get into the required product uh, selection as you can see so, uh, this is the list of products which are openly available free they are all the eos4 eos6 products uh, then jpss products landsat 8 landsat 9 scatsat sentinel um, resosat 1 resosat 2 so different kinds of products different level products are available so the ones listed here by selecting the filter as you can see towards the left side you are seeing a filter like priced open data ready available so the moment you you click that open data ready available you will see the list of satellites and the sensor data which is available in this particular category i will be talking about the filters in my subsequent slide so how do you search the data like for searching there are uh, uh, very user friendly options provided in bhunidhi you have multiple satellites uh, sensors resolution date range sort of an options uh, also you can search based on the disaster events that have happened and you can select the area of interest using a point polygon or through administrative boundaries or a shape files uh, map based visualizations is also possible so let us see how really it works so if once you get into the bhunidhi and you have to search for a particular product so this is how you do that so first there is a search criteria you can either give the moment you, you suppose you type hyderabad it automatically it fetches a lat log or you can all, as well feed the lat log and then particular you can get the area of your interest and either it can be this way or you can also draw a polygon or you can use a shape file or a map sheet so through this any of any of these options can be used to select your area of interest then coming to the product you can select the kind of product you are interested sorry it can be the standard product it can be a stereo it can be a digital elevation model it can be a merged product it can be an automatic identification system product or a thematic so whatever based on the user's interest he selects the kind of product he is interested in and then he goes to the resolution and selects what is the kind of resolution is interested 
if it is coarse, he can go for that kind of resolution, very high. So based on his requirement, he will select the particular resolution, finally the satellite. So there, uh, the moment this is done, then uh, Bhunidhi fetches the data what is available with Bhunidhi and then it will give you uh, also a sample. Yeah, it will tell you, uh, it, it will give you uh, a the browse information is shown. That means it will tell you whether it is cloud free. You will give us it. You you'll get to see a screenshot of that particular information, uh, and which uh, really uh, helps you uh, to go further for the. Uh, um, putting the request for the data. Suppose it is clouded, you will not go ahead and uh, uh, put a request for that particular data. So based on the cloud-free data only, you will go ahead with your request. Then also there is one more way of uh, extracting the data that is the event-based search that is, is uh, based on the avalanches or the cyclone or earthquake, any disaster strikes. If you are interested in, in that particular coverage, you can also do the search based on that. Then data dissemination modes, there are two types of dissemination modes. One is the instant download, as I said, for latest data, which is available uh, within three months of acquisition. If it is an older data, it will take about 24 hours time to download and make it available to the user. Again, there is another category in Bhunidhi, which falls under priced data, as I've already explained. Priced data, again, is for the high resolution data, uh, where... Uh, the procedure is slightly different from the open archives where you will have to search, select, uh, put it in the cart and generate uh, a PI. Then uh, ge after ge generating a PI, you will have to, it is a perform uh, uh, performer invoice uh, generate PI and then an order gets generated. And this is actually, it goes through the, uh, there is a agency called the NRC data a center NDC, which finally uh, gives the authorization and uh, does the processing for uh, generating the priced uh, product. So this uh, the procedure is slightly different for the open archives. Then coming to the uh, Bhunidhi Vista, this is mainly for the visualization of the acquisitions that have happened and uh, the kind of satellite visualizations possible are listed in this like EOS 4, EOS 6, Resosat 2, A, Sentinel, uh, Landsat 8, 9. So the kind of visualizations possible are like AOI, time-lapse videos are possible, comparison sliders, date range. But if you want to explore the data between a particular selected dates uh, before or after, if you want to see if, if a cyclone has struck, you want to see like how it was before and what is the kind of damage that has happened afterwards. So all these visualizations are possible on Bhunidhi Vista. Also, it offers certain measurement tools too. So this is like it is uh, showing the EOS for SAR MRS India coverage in Bhunidhi and uh, certain examples like I want to show like this uh, it is for detecting the ships in Panama Canal using the EOS 4 CRS data and this is the cyclone monitoring happening uh, it is cyclone ty uh, typhoon Kanun is depicted here using the EOS scatterometer data and also the uh, Mandu's cyclone which was captured in the EOS 6 OCM GAC product is depicted and this is a multi-layer data visualization as you can see uh, over the eo6 uh, gac product there is a global area coverage product uh, the scat wind uh, vector is overlaid so uh, you can also visualize the wind movement during the cyclone So this is a slider which is telling like uh, during cyclone Vishwang, which uh, actually struck Chennai recently, uh, the kind of damage, uh, what has, how it has happened uh, before and after the inundation. This is a time lapse for change detection. Like you can see a glacier at Antarctica and the slow movement. And this is about glacier monitoring, like uh, you would have heard about the South Lunak Lake outburst, which happened recently. Uh, so this is the monitoring of that South Lunak Lake using Punidhi Vista. The image uses of RS at 1A, that is EOS 4. This is the measurement tool for linear and area, uh, area measurement. Here, a bridge is measured we of uh, EOS 4 SAR using the linear measurement tool and uh, area being measured for cyclone mandus. Coming to Bhunidhi Upagra, as I said, this is mainly for tracking the satellite's life. 
predicting the position of a satellite uh, at a future time and view the nominal spots. Uh, what do you mean by this? Say the satellite has already passed. See, any satellite has two visibilities in the day and two visibilities in the night for a, a remote sensing satellite I'm talking about. And uh, say a disaster has struck and the satellite passes over. You want to cover an area and you want to see like which is the near, nearest upcoming satellite which is going to cover that area. So this Poonidhi Upagra really plays an important role here. So using this, you can know like which are all the upcoming satellites which are going to cover that area so that any immediate planning can be taken up and that area coverage can be done. Bhunidhi Planner, as I said, is a new feature which has been added. This is mainly basically to request placing surveys at Bhunidhi. Uh, this is right now operational only for EOS 4. So the user places a request and uh, a proposal gets generated by the pre-pass planning system. So this can be either rejected or accepted by the user. Once accepted, it goes to the NDC team, that is NRC data center team. So once the authorization is successful, then only the proposal status gets uh, uh, submitted. And uh, after checking the coverage of the requested AOA, the data gets acquired. This is mainly to view possibility and dates of acquisition to all users. So if a user is interested in knowing in uh, an upcoming uh, um, acquisition and he wants to know like particular day, particular time uh, pass, uh, it's covering certain area of his interest, then he can plan, uh, use this uh, e planner, Bhunidhi planner to uh, schedule that particular pass and make the data available to him for his processing. The request also will be honored as per the feasibility. Now, these are the Bhunidhi resources which are available in the Bhunidhi portal. Like uh, there are the various tutorial videos, help documents, archives which are readily available, which you, I would suggest you all to please go through all this for so that you will get much more clearer picture as to how to download data and what are the kind of uh, features available in this Bhunidhi site. There's also a feedback uh, form available on Bhunidhi. And any uh, queries, you can always write to bhunidhi at nrc.gov.in for your queries. Now coming to the third portal that is uh, NISIS, which stands for National Information System for Climate and Environment Studies. Now this is basically a gateway for earth and climate data products and information. And the URL for this is nicest.nrc.gov.in. And this website was operational uh, recently, uh, which was uh, inaugurated by our uh, uh, respected chairman, ISRO, on October 26, 2023. Though the climate data was hosted on Bhuvan since last 10 years, an independent website is operational. And is um, uh, this was uh, actually developed and made operational only recently. So this is how uh, typically our NICES homepage looks like. Uh, and the URL is nices.nrc.gov. As you can see, it offers various features like uh, the kind of essential climate variables available, uh, the products available, the publication details, the newsletters. So all these are the different features of NICES. So basically, what is NICES? Now, NICES stands for National Information System for Climate and Environment Studies. And the basic uh, uh, program, it envisages realization of a national level climate database generation with consistent climate quality geobiophysical products, which pertain to terrestrial, ocean, atmosphere, and cryosphere for climate change studies. These products are basically derived from the Indian and other Earth observation satellites from polar and geostationary missions uh, for climate change impact assessment and mitigation. This NICES is a multi-institutional venture with participation of various ISRO DAW centers and other departments and national institutions under various ministries, and uh, which helps to strengthen the information base also with their in-situ measurements and model output contributions. This actually NICES program was initiated in September 2012. Now, as I said, NICES website, it is offered, uh, it is available in bilingual Hindi as well as English. And these are the features of NICES website. Uh, it offers essential uh, climate variables and geophysical products, uh, climate stories, latest products, events, updates are seen in the site, ground instruments data, uh, technical publications, outreach activities, reports, the various NICES workshops, what we conduct. So all these are all of this is, uh, information is provided in the NICES website. So as I said, it is already bilingual. Now coming to the concept, what is NICES? Actually, as you can see, 
and the figure the realization of national level climate database is done in coordination with the different uh, features which are listed with the, with the factors that are listed so mainly to realize a national database what we need is first is a product so how do we generate this product to realize the goal we uh, the geophysical products for climate studies satellite data observations from remote sensing as well as geostationary data needs to be collected stored and processed to serve as input for the climate modeling and studies along with this we also need in situ measurements which is carried out using the lab and field instruments which are pertaining to atmosphere and ocean so the various instruments have been installed all over the country to manage monitor the different parameters with linkage with other isro programs now around 45 to 50 ministries uh, centers universities are collaborating under nisis uh, and an observation network for calibration and validation is built by installing various sensors across india so the geophysical essential climate variables generated using this data through climate uh, modeling techniques is made available to all the climate users through the nisis website so these are the objectives of nisis i will not go into the details of objectives because we are running short of time so as you can see mainly it is establishment development of linkages with appropriate observational networks as i have already spoken uh, we have so many sensors installed across the country uh, then uh, biogeophysical parameter retrieval acquisition processing of international missions data generation of spatial temporally blended ecv products established nursery infrastructure establishment of nisis portal which we have already done and we want to improve it further Uh, methodologies to carry out scientific studies with organizations using ecvs for impact assessment adaptation etc capacity building develop outreach so we, uh, to carry out all this we have linkages with various ministries like ministry of environment forestry climate change department of science and technologies ministry of earth sciences council of science and industrial research and so on so before getting into uh, climate products first we need to know what is gcos So GCOS it uh, it stands for Global Climate Observing System. It plays a, a vital role in supporting the climate research policy development and climate related decision making. Uh, it is actually a comprehensive international network of observing systems and data management that monitors the Earth's climate. So currently, GCOS has specified fifty four essential climate variables. I'll come to essential climate variables also under different categories. So uh, of which. Twenty uh, eight are available through satellites, directly or indirectly. So, before going uh, into our climate products, we should know what is G cause, and then next is essential climate variable. Now, what is ECV? ECV is nothing but a physical, chemical, or biological variable that critically contribute to the characterization of Earth's climate. It is a set of key climate parameters and variables that provide essential information for understanding the Earth's climate system and monitoring climate change. so gcos has defined various ecvs for example like under atmosphere we have precipitation pressure temperature water vapor lightning under land water lakes under cryosphere glaciers snow ocean ocean surface heat flux sea surface current and so on so these are the 54 i mean i have named only few uh, uh, ecvs uh, which are actually um, defined by gcos so of these 12 ecvs are been generated by nrse and hosted in our nisis portal so nisis portal actually offers the products under these categories like the terrestrial products the ocean products the atmospheric products modern derived products and the cryosphere products so as you can see it's a huge list of climate products which are available with us so it's more than 60 geophysical products under different themes like terrestrial you have 30 under ocean you have 26 atmospheric 5 cryosphere 5 Uh, like under terrestrial you have albedo surface water body soil moisture and so on so whatever is listed as green color they are the essential climate variables so uh, among these 12 are can be uh, uh, 12 fall under the category of essential climate variables so how do we actually uh, download the climate data from nisis website so this is how the home page looks like as you can see so select the products so from products uh, at the moment you click products there is a drop down list uh, the, 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 uh, the a drop down list pops down so there are different themes under which different kinds of products are available say you have selected ocean once you select ocean the list of all the products which are generated in the ocean they are 
shown so here i have only shown a few of the products there are more than 30 products which are available under ocean category alone so for depiction i have uh, picked up only the eddy kinetic energy uh, so say you have selected eddy kinetic energy here you see you it is telling what kind of product it is what is the resolution available the data availability the period the frequency the coverage and there is also technical document associated with it and a hyperlink provided so the moment you click that, you land on this page on Bhuvan, which is hosting the climate data. So under the NICES program, and uh, see, as you can see, the product selector is kinetic energy, eddy kinetic energy, and it is telling you for which period it is available. It also provides along with that the metadata, and you can also view the product. So the, like this, more than 70 geophysical products are hosted in the port portal, which can be downloaded for free. Only prerequisite is you need to register with Bhuvan before downloading the data. And all these data are available through NICE's website, which is hosted on Bhuvan. Now, here I am depicting few of the essential climate variables uh, because uh, we, I cannot be showing all the 66 products. So few like land cover, two-day merged surface soil moisture, uh, which is for 20 years accuracy, 2002 to 2022. And then... Uh, OSCAD wind stress, two days composite under ocean, this product is. Then these are some more products under ocean, like ocean surface chlorophyll. This is monthly products available, partial pressure of carbon dioxide in water. This is again a monthly product. So under cryosphere, we have snow melt area. This is a daily product. And Sorry, it's a two-day product, snow melt area, snow melt fraction. So these few products have been shown here for depiction. This way, we have 60 geophysical products available with NICES for the climate users. And under atmosphere, we have lightning, cloud fraction. Again, these are some of the derived products under EOI 6, that is OceanSat 3, like algal blooms at Atlantic Ocean. The NDVI, right now, it is now available with Bhunidi. Then this is depiction of the cyclone mower, the scatterometer winds over, overlaid over the OCM 3, cyclone beeper joy, similarly. These are the derived products from EOI 6. This is a time composite mosaic of EOI 6. Uh, GAC, FCC, that is false color, color composite. GAC stands for global area coverage for the period. 1 to 15, 2023. This is again global gridded uh, chlorophyll product. This is again available on Bhunidhi right now. Now coming to instrumentation, like what are the kind of instruments uh, we, which are used in ISIS? There, is, uh, uh, there are uh, many uh, instruments uh, which support the in-situ data collection. Uh, like the for ocean instruments like the Hyper Pro 2 IOP profiler, neutron analyzer, coulometer. So these are the instruments which are carried during cruises to measure the ocean parameters like the chlorophyll pigment concentration, alkalinity, dissolved inorganic carbon, nutritional concentrations, etc. So this will add as an in-situ data and also mainly these are used for the calibration of the data collected, uh, calibration of the sensors on board for the data collected on the ground. And like uh, we have also have lab and field instruments under atmosphere, like the Fourier transform infrared spectrometer uh, measures atmospheric trace gases. These are all placed at uh, our ground station, Chadnagar Atmospheric Lab, which continuously does the measurement of atmospheric parameters, uh, nephlometer, sun photometer, uh, greenhouse gas analyzers for measuring carbon dioxide, methane. And apart to this, we also have a network uh, of instruments in uh, instruments in network like the lightning detection sensor network this uh, mainly is to main monitor the lightning occurrences over india so nrsc has established uh, more than 46 long range uh, lightning detection sensors across the country and these sensors have uh, more than 98% confidence within 300 kilometers range detection of individual sensors there are also micro rain radar network which measures the quantitative rain rates drop size distribution, etc. Atmospheric carbon dioxide sensor measuring high temporal frequency of atmospheric carbon dioxide, H2O, ultraviolet sensor, and so on. So all these different instruments are mainly required to collect the uh, different parameters of ocean and atmosphere, uh, which will help, uh, which will add as institute data as well as for calibration purpose. And uh, coming to the NICES website, it also offers the climate stories, uh, technical publication information, then also uh, details about the nicest workshops held 
across the country and my monthly nicest newsletters is a new concept which had come up since last october 2022 uh, this is mainly to expand outreach of nicest so this covers mainly uh, this talks about the geophysical products uh, the studies carried out using the nicest data the technical publications uh, latest publications by uh, ecsa team or uh, by any one who has used the nicest data so uh, nicest workshop information details this uh, newsletter is being published every month and we are getting very good response for this if you are interested you can also join and subscribe to this and you can write to this uh, email nicest@nrsc.gov.in coming to the utilization uh, as you can see uh, the kind of products available are under three categories atmosphere ocean terrestrial the maximum downloads have happened for terrestrial followed by ocean and atmosphere uh, as you can see 44% for terrestrial 34 0.5% for ocean and 21% for atmosphere and if you can uh, uh, classify the users under different categories like academia research government others the major uh, users belong to the users may, they belong to the category academia and research next is government users followed by others so around 2 lakh downloads have happened uh, through more than 17000 unique users recorded So, for any more details, you can always contact our director at NRSC National Remote Sensing Center or the program director Nices, or you can write to our Nices as I already showed Nices at NRSC dot gov dot in. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, ma'am, uh, for delivering the talk. So, yes. uh, before going to uh, the question and answer session question and answer session so we will have photo session so i request uh, all the panelists uh, to turn on their cameras so that we can take a photograph Mohan, you, Mohan, you have taken. Yes, just a minute. Yeah, I am also taking. Yes. Yes, taken. Uh, Thank you, sir. Sir, could you please switch to your video? And Dr. Dar sir also. I've taken, but uh, Darshan and Tegi sir, not switched on their video. Yeah, yeah, okay. So thank you, uh, Dr. Mohan. Now we will have a Q and A session. I request uh, once again Dr. Rohini uh, to handle this Q and A session and, uh, and take the questions to the notice of the speaker. Thank you, Doctor. Thank, thank you, Doctor Lakshmi. Uh, so this was a very informative talk, ma'am. and uh, most of the comments have come which uh, said that this is very informative for us we never heard about so many products uh, given so they are very happy to know about this and they want that to share the slides <laughs> yeah sure but it is uh, like a little bit animations are there so i could not share it's almost 3 gb presentation yeah 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 correct we will try to make it in a way where we can share them so that they they want to also know the different website links so that they yeah sure sure both. yeah so the first question uh, is is there any overlay option in google platform like google earth overlay function like uh, overlay option in google platform like google earth Yeah, you can overlay. You no, know, I have spoken like all the thematic data sets are used for overlaying only. Like exactly, the clarity has not come. What is it? The question regarding, but uh, this comes as a thematic service uh, of Bhuvan only. There are uh, n number of thematic services which are used uh, for by which can be used for overlaying only. Like uh, suppose say. you have a population density so the population density can be overlaid on the land use land cover and uh, you can fetch some more information out of it so there are multiple uh, overlaying options available with uh, bhuvan of course yes okay uh, 
the next one is is there any specific product for observation of coastline changes if yes how i can av avail high resolution images under consideration for research slash project coastline changes i think uh... Is it related to climate, coastline change? I'll have to get back actually, coastline change. Uh, Ma'am, you can do one thing like uh, whatever questions you are giving me right now, you can also mail me so that uh, say if uh, uh, I'll have to uh, talk to the concern and get also the replies, uh, I can reply to each and every point. You can ask the questions now. Okay. Uh, if it is within my purview, I'll answer or I'll have to discuss and come back. I will always um, uh, do that in the form of a mail so that you will get answers to each and every question. Okay. okay. There was another okay. one related to that, but maybe um, you can answer it. Once. It is, I think, connected. Which satellite product will be best for this? Yeah. Thing? Achha, which satellite product is uh, suitable for, for this? Coastline. Coastline. Yeah. I'll get back. Yeah. There is another one which uh, is, can this geo platform be used in the meteorological applications, especially in now casting? If yes, can you please provide a few examples? Now casting of what? Meteorological application, it can be used in meteorological applications, especially in now casting. Very generic, it is. Very okay. generic, yeah. I huh. don't know what exactly the speaker is. Okay, I'll so get I back. Now costing, they are referring to uh, now costing for weather, perhaps. This is what I could understand. Weather, it can be temperature, it can be precipitation, uh, it can be like, uh, 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 or anything, uh, rain, thunderstorm. Maybe that is a perhaps that is a question. Uh, that's why I asked. It can be but more specific, sir. Huh? It's uh, now costing by the Satellites, especially a set of eight images, has been already taken by our colleague Viparsha Shukla from Space Application Center. They have already shown now casting, which is one hour to two hour. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, sir. I think it's uh, uh, now cast. Oh, yeah. yeah. If the question is about uh, geo platform, so yes, actually, geo plot platform only is used for. Uh, uh, now casting because it can continuously monitor uh, this uh, weather events. So uh, every half an hour imagery, like we are taking from inside 3D, 3D R, imager as well as sounder. So both these uh, instruments are used for now casting of uh, means uh, uh, simple weather also and mostly a severe weather phenomena like thunderstorm. So yes, they they are useful for uh, weather weather uh, now casting application. Uh, yes, sir. But I think uh, uh, SAC is doing that because NRC is not doing any now casting as I know. I understand. Right. Uh, because so INSAC series. Uh, yeah. So next lecture when Shivani will be taking, she will be discussing about yeah. now casting applications. In her, uh, so I know is that these that. two have uh, been uh. born and Mosaic are totally different. So they will have to wait for another lecture. Yes. Uh, I think uh, the question is answered. Yeah, it is. It is. It can be used, but NRC does not do that. SAG does that. Thank you. Uh, the next question is: Is the data product provided in form like it is given through the Moody's website, like level zero, level one, level two? Yeah, it is provided as a different level only. Now, yeah, okay. he's asking of the format, like is whether it's a geo yeah. or not. Uh, again, depends on what kind of a product he's uh, uh, downloading. No, is there any? They are available in different formats, so it uh, I cannot tell like exactly which format it is, uh, geotiff format or any other format based on the kind of format uh, product he is downloading. Is there any site by which we can get visibility data? Visibility data of which visibility changes from place to place. Like, uh, what is the question? Like, see, uh, my visibility is different. Like, if any the person from other country is viewing, his visibility is different. So, what is the uh, visibility he is asking uh, from think... the country from where he is viewing, he or she is viewing? No, uh, actually, it is maybe visibility, uh, visibility product, related to this. Uh, visibility product, ma'am, I think. Fog and visibility is this related, ma'am. Yeah. 
So actually, visibility. So cloud free. You mean cloud free data? And AD. Huh? Is it cloud free data you are referring to? Something like in fog visibility reduces. So some. Sometimes. See, uh, if that is the question, like every data, there is a browse uh, uh, clip getting generated. So you can always see that screenshot, uh, which tells you whether it's clouded or cloud free. Based on that, or it's a, a compressed uh, JPEG image, 512 bytes. Ka. Based on that only, the user goes ahead and puts a, a request for the that particular full resolution scene. So is it that he's asking? Man, it's not related to cloud, madam. It's like visibility, I think. Uh... A person uh, at what distance he can see the other. So that generally when during the foggy days, uh, we'll have this med department provide this visibility. So oh, the data wow. like this two kilometers, three kilometers, something like that. Maybe so IMD can answer. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Actually, MOSDEC lecture, that also will be covered like fog uh, density as well as AOD. Because AOD, if you if you know surface level AOD, that also can define how, how, how what will be the visibility, you know. So it's a, uh, this question is not related to Bhuvan, I think. Yeah. Okay. Another one is, is any data available for the contra con concentration, I think, concentration of atmospheric gases like NOx, ozone, SOx? Yeah, we have our uh, instruments placed in Shahab Nagar and the data is continuously collected actually. So that data is also shared in uh, uh, our uh, NICES website. In situ data, I mean, that data is there, so they can access that data. What is this exact specific data they had asked for? You mean uh, NOx, ozone, and SOx? Yeah. But which area they are interested? Um, like this is in Shahab Nagar yeah. ground station. We have instruments. We have we are collecting regularly. Uh, so that data is available, and that is also shared in that uh, what do you call it, website. But uh, the person uh, who is asking is specifically to which his, his or her region, uh, then this may not be of much use to them. I don't know. Only it I, is for uh, uh, in situ measurements or satellite products they are asking. I think he, the question is just written. Is there any data available for? I mean, they want to know about. Uh, yeah, data is available. Ma we have instruments measuring all that. Yes. They they don't know which. Hyderabad, country. it is available. Yes. Yeah. I think that's all other for global level pollution data is available. Global level pollution data. I'll get back, ma'am. I'll have to ask the team because there is an atmospheric team who's working. So if they have really anything of that sort, I should I should get back. The emissions data is available, model emissions. I don't know about uh, satellite. And they all want to get your slides because probably Slide. they want to look into the websites and get more information. About yeah, yeah. I think I need to share the URL, uh, the website uh, details of each. Uh, uh, like a website I have discussed about that I will share and maybe this uh, um, PPT I'll remove those animations and share ma'am because it's become too bulky to share so I will share like you can share your email ID and also kindly give the share the questions no so that I'll uh, try to reply to as much as possible discuss with the team and come back if suppose the other people are having this information uh, I should be uh, give, uh, sharing that with you now Sure. So you can always give me the whole list of uh, questions too. You can share and uh, I shall reply. Uh, you can also share the email to which I am supposed to reply. Okay, sure. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. And uh, this PPT also I'll share uh, after removing the all the GIFs and all that. Over to you, Dr. Rohini. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Rohini, uh, for effectively conducting this uh, Q&A session. And also thanks to uh, speaker for... Uh, providing these uh, uh, answers for these questions. Now it's time for a vote of thanks. Now I request uh, Dr. Mohan Kumar Das, uh, Joint Secretary Sama, to provide, to deliver this vote of thanks for today's lecture. Over to you, Dr. Over? Mohan. Is yeah, it's over. over. Uh, it's over. Yes, sir. Yes. Oh. Uh, okay. Thank you, uh, Dr. Loshmiji. Uh, dear respected participants and esteemed guests, a sincere thank you for being part of the remarkable 18th session of the Satellite Weekly Online Lecture Series. 
on the NICES Bhuvan Bhunidhi portal and their products. In our captivating session, led by the extraordinary Ms. C. Jayasri, the world of the settled mythology unfold like a beautiful narrative. Her expertise not only made the complexities accessible, but also transformed learning into a genuinely enchanting experience. With the seamless inclusion of real-world example and practical tips for real-time forecasting, Ms. Jayasri added a layer of beauty and inspiration akin to the hands-on magic awaiting exploration on NICES Bhuvan Bhunidhi portals. Hats up to our outstanding summer executive coordination team members, Dr. T.B. Lakshmi Kumar and Dr. Rohini Bhavar for leading the session seamlessly and sparkling, engaging discussions. To our diverse global participants, your varied and valuable contribution turned this session into a truly memorable occasion. A heartfelt appreciation to Air Vice Master Retired Professor Dr. Ojitya Gisar, Chairman of SAMA, Professor Dr. Somashad Darsar, Secretary of SAMA, and Professor Dr. Shwagata Pirat, Treasurer of SAMA, for being pillars of support on this enlightening journey. Thank you for joining us on the enriching exploration into the world of satellite meteorology on the NICES Bhuvan Bhunidhi portal. May this insight gained today guide us towards even more discoveries in the future with warm and gratitude. Thank you. Thanks Thank to you, Mohan sir. also. Thanks to Dr. Mohan for thanking everybody. Thank you, sir. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Dr. Dr. Mohan. Now we have come to this end of this uh, today's session. So we'll be closing this uh, session for today and we'll be meeting next Saturday as usual for the next lecture. So thank you. Uh, thank just you, a minute, uh, Lakshmiji. I think now we are all here. So if Dibbo is switched on his uh, video, you can take a good snapshot. Last time, yeah. Tiagisar and Dasar was missed. Uh, yeah. Sir, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. Mohan, you are taking? Uh, just a minute, Dipo. Uh, just request for uh, thirty seconds or one minute. Uh, Dipo, please. Dibya, Dibya. Dipo, you are waiting. Yeah, it's coming. <laughs> okay, just I'm taking. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Mohan and Dr. Lakshmi Kumar. You're enjoying the warm weather in Chennai and Hyderabad and in Kerala. Uh, even the t-shirts. <laughs> we are Getting you know, cold, freezing in Delhi. <laughs> uh, great thanks, uh, Jessie, madam, for the nice uh, and very interesting talk. Uh, in fact, uh, you have elaborated um, the, the treasure of the satellite data, which most people would like to utilize. <laughs>